Welcome to Mastering Solutions, where we're taking the stress out of your science classes. This question says we have a ball tied to a string. Then they say we pull that ball up to an angle 3.4 degrees and then release it and it swings as a pendulum back and forth. They tell us the mass of the ball is 199 grams, which is 0.199 kilograms and then they tell us that we have 18 oscillations and 19 seconds that that happens in so we can find with oscillations and the seconds either t or frequency remember t is how much time it takes per oscillation so we'll have delta t divided by oscillations and frequency is oscillations per time I'm going to solve for t. It'll make our algebra a little bit easier. So t is equal to 19 seconds divided by 18 oscillations, which gives us a period of 1.056 seconds. Okay, so now that I have everything written down, they want us to find L, or the length of the string. So what I did is I looked at my equations and all the ones I use are from the end of the chapter summary. And I, I looked at it and I said, which one of these even has L in it? And then when I found all the ones that have L in the equation, then I said, okay, which one of those do I have stuff for it? And the one that I'm going to use is T is equal to two pi times the square root of L, which I'm solving for, divided by G. So now all I have to do is solve for L and then plug my values in. So let's divide both sides of the equation by 2 pi. So now we have T over 2 pi is equal to square root of L over G. So now let's square both sides of the equation. So now the square cancels the square root. This gets squared. So now we have L over G is equal to T divided by 2 pi squared. Sorry, I, I switched that around on you. Hopefully that wasn't a, a big deal. Okay, now we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by G. So now the G cancels. Multiply this side by G. So now we get L is equal to T divided by 2 pi squared times G. So now all we have to do is plug everything in. So we get 1.056 seconds divided by 2 pi. We'll square all of that and times it by 9.8. So L is equal to 0 0.277. Now that's what comes out of the calculator. So what is that? That's meters because that's standard units. But they want centimeters. So if we move the decimal place over 2, we get 27 0.7 centimeters as the length of the string. If you found this video was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe because we'll be coming out with more of your homework solutions every week. Thanks for watching.